You have just given a wonderful speech. You're very proud of yourself. The audience is standing up. And they are crying with happiness and they're throwing roses at you and everyone is clapping and clapping a standing ovation it's wonderful and you have such a glow of achievement so you go and you sit down maybe after the event you have some networking you talk to people and you're quite optimistic that you've done a good thing this is going to be good from a sales and marketing perspective four weeks later you realize you didn't generate a single mandate from that meeting, from that presentation. You made no money. Commercially, that was a failure. This is entirely possible. What you need to remember is the 1090 follow up rule. 10% of the value of public speaking from a commercial perspective is what you say. You're entertaining, you're informative, you're engaged, you're enthusiastic. That's fine. It's only 10% of the value. 90% of the value commercially is what happens afterwards. It is extremely important that you do your follow-up. Extremely important that you get post-event meetings. Get a list of the attendees in the audience. Pitch them, suggest lunches, suggest coffees. In your presentation itself, include some teasers to hook their interest. Your metric of success in successful public speaking is the very same one as in sales networking post-event meetings. Only a proportion of those post-event meetings will result in mandates, and these mandates will generate money. Um, you might get lucky. You might do a public speech, and then someone emails you, and they give you a mandate. It's just extremely unlikely. Unfortunately, you're probably going to have to go through that intermediary step of getting a post-event meeting. Of course, in your presentation itself, don't do spoilers. Don't put all of your cards on the table. That will decrease your chances of getting mandates and money after the event. Mm, you do include your teasers, like I mentioned. And at the end of your presentation, you should have a CTA. You should have a call to action. Tell people what to do. Um, it could be okay if you tell them to contact you for a copy of the slides, but is that really going to help you to get a meeting with them? So remember the 1090 rule of follow up. It doesn't matter how loudly they clap, doesn't matter how many roses they throw on the stage. It does matter how many post event meetings you get after your speech. That is your metric of success to get commercial sales through public speaking. Thank you. Yeah.